Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycle Mania Season 2015. Today we have Stage 14, we are finally finished with Week 2 of the Giro d'Italia. And it's a long mountain stage, 210 kilometers with a lot of climbs. Especially the first one goes uphill for like 65, 700 kilometers or so, maybe even 80. Constant uphills. It's going to be really tough. I would never have been able to, to ride up this first kind of one climb, but it isn't that steep, so that's probably why. Uh, yeah, it's really steep that, I, that it's so early on the stage. The final climbs are probably going to be a lot more exciting, especially Category 1 and Category 2 climb here at the end. Also in slightly uphill, but these small hills are going to be a lot tougher than it seems because everyone is going to be out of energy at this point. Let's get into the race and find out how well we can do here. Okay, we're now at the bottom of the Category 1 climb. We've just gotten water. We only have two riders remaining, Putsuvio and Bro. Everyone else is far behind. Katra has actually just joined us as well because the group behind us has merged, merged together again, but he's going to drop out soon anyway. Um, Let's just try and pace up here around 70 on the first climb. Let's see how many people we can uh, drop off at this pace. I don't think it'll be that many because everybody seems to have a lot of energy left at this point. We have two breakaway riders, Simon Clark and Pambila from Cannondale and Etix Quickstep. Visconti, Valverde, Nibali, Uran, Maika uh, should all be here. Chavez, Dumoulin, Hestedal. Yeah, everybody's pretty much here. Of course, once again, I'm using Pro early on, but I feel like that's the best for my overall standings with Pro over here. Doesn't really matter if you get two riders in sixth and seventh place, I would rather have a guy in third and tenth place, or third and twelfth place even. I feel like that's better at least. And Pro Tobivo gets stuck behind Pambila, I really think it was. Pro is still pulling. Got a little nine man group away there where I think Uran and Chavez and some other riders was, were caught behind as well. So they'll have to close the gap here. Simon Clark and Hesedal, I think, close the gap for Uran and Chavez here. Visconti Roach is probably done soon as well. He'll probably plug in some riders as well now. That usually happens when weaker riders make it in the front group. Simon Clark, of course, we didn't make it this time. Nieve, uh, any other riders who should have made it who didn't. Nah, it's pretty much the ride to expect up here. I don't think that any anyone got caught out in this scenario here. This Conti maybe is slowing, is showing a bit of weakness perhaps. Yeah, Rhodes is done now. So that's one Skyrider remaining. Only team with two riders left are, uh, of course, my team. And I think s movies that I have both this Conti and Melbert, I think that's it. There's no full sign this time. There's no Kanga. They were caught behind early on, and I don't think they'll make it back up again. Fulsang is here. Krosvik now moves, because otherwise he'll lose a lot of time here. And Mador isn't there either. So he'll probably drop down a bit as well in the classification. So I'm not really going fast enough for anybody to die out of this pace. But people are still struggling a lot, you can tell that. Oh, it would be nice if Bro could make it over the top of this climb here. That's of course attack from Milan, Dumoulin, Maika. It's 4, 5 and 6 going on. There goes Valverde, he wants to join up as well here. Oh, Visconti Sagarin is dropped here. Oh, it would be nice if, if, if Peru could make it in this group here. I don't think he will though. He's just hanging on by... Oh, Peru made it. Sakarin didn't make it this time, I think. And Kreuzvik is trying to get up here. Sakarin was the only one who really got dropped by that attack at the end here. Piro can regain some energy here in the downhill. It's a pretty short one, but it should still be possible for him to at least gain some back. And most importantly of all, protect Piro. And not uh, Piro, puts view. Of course, in home country here. I think he's doing many people proud. We have an Italian in second and third at the moment. But a Spanish rider in first. This climb isn't that tough. I can already see that. I don't really know what to do here because it's like 12 kilometers long, but only 5% nervous. There's not many steep climbs at, at all here. No red and black parts at all here. That goes right ahead it out of all riders. I did not expect him. Nibali goes, then Valverde will go as well. I might as well just start accelerating. Puts a view over here. Perot will get dropped by this, but as long as he can sit here, at the better, of course. Oh, I think Sakai and Kreuzvik are close to getting back up here again. 
but they are also using a lot of energy riding at this pace at the moment. So Kain has closed the gap. I don't think Koch will make it up. I think he's too far behind at the moment. He, 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 he was too far behind when the group split apart and now he has to close a major gap by himself. So that's, that's just too late for him. Perot doing a remarkable job. There goes fourth place Maike. Can't let that happen. I get blocked in by Perot, Visconti and Valverde. Everybody goes apart from Delverde, Nibali and Chavez. Here they go. Sakari and Visconti. And Perot will get dropped here. Puzzovivo going at around 85 at his own pace up again. So the group has, has, has been smaller again. Chavez, Sakari and Perot. Visconti dropped. No helpers left now. It's all 1v1 one one at this moment here. Micah goes again. Valverde, Nibali is here. Dumoulin, Uran. It's Michael Landa and Chavez has made it up again. There goes Valverde. Once again, Nibali responds. I think Valverde has much more in the left than he lets out here. Okay, Chavez is done. Uran seems done as well. It's Dumoulin. I'm trying to get up to his dial. Micah is going fast. So is Valverde and Landa here. Ah, that's a bit annoying here that I didn't get up to the front four. I think I'm strong enough to, to be there at least. Okay, let's see. What, what can we do here? I don't really think we can do too much. I'm just going to try and get away from Dumoulin. Maybe. It's still like a, a small little hill here at the bottom of, the, of today. Today's stage here, you have to get over a small, steep little climb here. Valverde has gone away solo once again in the pink jersey. Nibali is right behind him as well, together with Michael. Michael gained time on me today, which is bad. I don't get it, because I feel like I'm stronger than Michael here today. Wow, he gained so much time on me here at the bottom. I'm just going to drop his it out here once again. Landa is weak as well, at least not strong. And I'm slowly catching up with Micah here at the end, but now I'm out of energy. Again, about a minute just on the final climb on Dumoulin. Landa is dead, so is Micah. I did lose that much time at the end to Micah, but still about a minute or so to uh, Nibble and Micah. I finished fifth place. Probably lost around half a minute or so. Really not a big deal because I gained more yesterday. But 5th place is not bad at all compared to the competition I'm up against. Let's see the new overall standings and how far back, back Pro and Puzzovivo were on this stage. Okay, so I ended up winning in 5th, just 12 seconds behind Micah and about a minute or so to... No, 12 seconds behind Landa and about a minute or so to Micah. I'm still 3 minutes and 10 seconds ahead of uh, Micah in 4th place. Uh, Landa has moved off to 5th, I think he overtook, uh, he overtook Tom Dumoulin here. I think tomorrow is the, is the mountain time trial, so that could be a really fun stage. I don't know how well I, I will do compared to a guy like Landa because he has much better mounts than so does Mike and everybody else up here. So it will be very difficult. I don't know if Tom Dumoulin's time trial sets will matter too much on the mountain time trial. Um, you can't really see much of the profile here because it just goes uphill. But if you zoom in on the stage profile itself, once you get into the race, you can see a lot more how steep it is and so on. But here we can see a lot. Uh, Perot finished 13th, still hanging on to his top 10 finish. Uh, Sagrin gained a bit of time him now, 9 minutes behind. Uh, other than that, I think Fulton lost time to him today. Yeah, he lost 5 minutes, so um, there's a big difference from Perot up to 9th place. 5 minutes and 7 minutes down to 11th. He's like uh, totally alone in the world at this point. Hopefully he can keep on to top 10 finish. It would be nice to have two riders in top 10. Um, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tomorrow we'll see the mountain time trial. See you guys next time. Goodbye.